People are unfortunately talking about the mental health pandemic after the COVID-19 pandemic, and I think that's true. Uh, if you try and get into a therapist or a counsellor or a psychiatrist, it's very difficult nowadays because uh, we're all booked up solid. Um, and I think that's just a reflection on the fact that uh, the pandemic has been a very stressful time uh, for many people. I think the interesting thing about stress and anxiety, and particularly in the workplace, is how our jobs have changed and how a lot of these changes will be permanent. There's going to be many people now working in a hybrid way, partly at home, partly in the office or in the hospital. Um, and I think uh, we need to think very carefully about how do we integrate that hybrid approach into our outside lives and, uh, and what we do with our families and our loved ones. I, I think a lot of people, when they come back to work, are going to find it really rather strange and different. Uh, and so don't be put off if the first uh, few weeks are, are sort of more difficult than you were expecting. Give yourself some time. Uh, talk to your friends, to your colleagues, to your loved ones about your experiences and don't expect everything to be the same as it was before. We're living in really a fairly new normal now. Focus on the social side uh, initially. Find out what other people have been doing during COVID, what's, what's changed in their lives and you may well be meeting people you've been working with for up to a couple of years for the first time. Uh, so you know, take advantage of those situations and uh, have coffee, have lunch with people and, and focus on some social issues initially before you really think too much about the work side. I think the biggest single elephant in the room almost from COVID is loneliness. Uh, we know that something like a quarter of a population have actually been incredibly lonely during COVID. Uh, and that applies to health professionals and people at UC Davis and our health system just as much as the, to the general public. Um, so that's a real issue and, it's, and it's, loneliness is, is a real problem for many people. It's bad for your, your health, for your physical health, for your mental health. Uh, and of course it's going to make it more difficult for you to come back to work. I think if you are someone who recognises that you've been lonely, um, then you really need to work on that. And you need to uh, talk to friends, to colleagues. Um, you need to deliberately try and increase your social connections, do some more social things, join some clubs or some groups, um, maybe get involved in some work activities that also have out-of-hours activities. So what's happening nowadays with the way people receive their mental health is really getting quite different from the past. People are increasingly using apps and a variety of other sort of IT-related technologies. Um, the apps that I tend to actually recommend to patients uh, are ones that the VA has developed on the whole. They're free, uh, they're in the, the sort of coach series. So one of them is, uh, is Insomnia Coach, for instance. It's called CBT-I Coach. Uh, and if you go to the VA website, you'll find there's something like 15 or 20 really good apps for a wide range of mental health problems. <laughs>